Hello, hello. Astro Pick here. And today, we're going to take a look at my Fireball Sorceress. Primarily because I keep hearing that the Nova Sork is where it's at. And I... My Fireball Sork just destroys everything. So, I'm just going to make a video going over the Fireball Sorceress that I built. Um, and I think my next video is going to be creating the Nova Sork to see if I can beat my Fire Sork. Let's get started. All right, so here we got Woggles. Woggles is uh, the first Sorceress that I built um, when I started this mod. Um, she's been through a lot with me. She's also doing 72,000 damage at her max point. Let me take that back. She's doing... 74,000 at her max point. And she just destroys everything. So what I'm thinking about doing here is Diablo clone, I'm gonna do a cow run, Mephisto, and Dario, and Bale. Might as well. So we'll do those, all four of those, and then I'm gonna build up a Nova Sork, and I'm gonna do the same thing with her. So let me walk you through 74k worth of fireball damage here. So we were using the Daylight uh, Rune Word, which gives us plus four to conviction, three to all sorceress skills, faster cast rate. Um, I used a base that has plus two to cold mastery, plus two to fireball, so there's obviously some room for improvement there. I've been meaning to go through and re-roll the white until I can get like fire mastery and fireball. Um, ideally three and three, so there's still room for more damage here. Armor, I'm using the Legacy of Eternals Archon Plate with four plus one all skills jewels. Um, those are plus one all skills and plus five uh, max life and plus, what, uh, an amount of increased mana. I can't figure out what it is. I don't remember what this had in the first place. Um, I think it was five and five. Helmet is Overlord's Hydra Skull. Uh, this comes with four to all skills as it is, um, with 30 faster cast rate, 99 of mana, um, and again I've got 4 plus 1 all skills jewels, plus 5% max life, max mana. Uh, I'm using the Corruption Coil set to give me another plus 10 to all skills, 102 uh, cold skill damage, lightning skill damage, fire skill damage, primarily looking at the fire skill damage. Uh, I'm using Citadel Belt and Teleomortis Gloves. Both of these give plus two skills and combined get another 25 to all resistance. My boots uh, add another 30 to faster cast rate, 10% fire skill damage. Uh, that's primarily why I'm using those. I got the starlight um, rune word on my, my shield here, plus three to all skills, indestructible for the, um, for the shield. What's nice is this rune word's also minus 95% on requirements, so it drops that Drops that strength requirement even further than the, the ethereal already did. Um, on my switch, using Call to Arms, and I need what? How much do I need? I got, I got 151 strength. I need five more strength for my spirit. I didn't notice this until yesterday, so I still need to find like a charm or something to up that. My charms, I've got uh, a pretty okay Hellfire Torch. Uh, my Nihilus is 181406, and then I've got the Nightshade Unique Grand Charm for some faster run walk. One, two, three, four, five uh, crafted Grand Charms. You can craft these with a Zod Rune, Unique Jewel. If you go on the website, you can, you can see uh, you can see the the recipe for this. Uh, I know it's the one that has a Zod Rune on it. It's the one that gives you all skills every time. If you're lucky, you'll get plus 15 all resistance. And I've seen, also, I've seen these roll with uh, skillers on them too. So you get plus one to all skills and plus one to uh, fireball or you know, elemental skills or whatever else. Queen's Call. This is an awesome one. Plus one to all skills, faster run lock attack, speed block rate, 42 life, 15 all resistance. This is a ridiculous grand charm. These are these are the two, these are the only two that I found that are unique. Uh, Nightshade and Queen's Call. 
I've also got this life and death large charm, plus one to all skills, and then just an assortment of other smalls. I have a unique, there it is. Uh, this small charm, Remembrance of Glory, it's plus five to all resistance. It's a 2017, so you got 20 life, 17 mana, and five decks on it, which is nice. I'm not, I don't even have maxed out resistances on her because I just kill things too too fast. So this is, this is definitely a situation where I've played this character long enough that she's overpowered. No doubt about it. She destroys everything. Oh, Mercenary. Um, I'm running with Mourning. It is a six socket ethereal weapon. Um, it's a druid weapon, but I, I wanted the 100% chance to cast a level 20 static when you kill an enemy. Unfortunately, he doesn't kill a lot of enemies. So I was hoping to see that static drop a lot more often and it just, it just doesn't. Um, so I might switch this out at some point, but it also has just a ridiculous amount of damage on it. It's 3 to 55 enhanced damage, and then 9 to max damage, 20 to crushing blow, prevents monster heal, freezes target. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a solid uh, two-hander for my mercenaries. Run of a fort. This helmet I need to switch out. I just, out of laziness, I haven't. Um, I think I've had this helmet on him since probably level 66-ish. Uh, amulet. I threw this on here just so we'd have thorns as well. Plus one to all skills. A little bit more damage. The Chad ring. Um, it's also, obviously it's Chad's, but I like to call it the Chad ring because it's just the perfect mercenary ring. And then I've got Prince Guar and Lady Dan's boots and gloves. Uh, this is 36% enhanced damage and then adds another 19 to 38 damage. This is 56% enhanced damage and plus 30 to max damage and then increased attack speed. So that's the re main reason I'm wearing these two on, on this guy is for all that extra damage. Um, so we take a look at Fazel's damage here. We are at... I'm almost done. There we go. So he's doing 58 to 11,000 damage whenever I drop my enchant on him. So that's the, uh, that's the character. Let's go kill some stuff. I'm gonna start with cows. These cows are fun. And make sure they're player's eight here. There we are. So with this, uh, with the, uh, oh, what's this set called? With the corruption coils, um, you gotta keep an eye on your life because it just, just kind of runs out sometimes. Which I need, uh, next room. I was trying to figure out how to get, how to, how to cut the, uh, the drain with some, uh, life replenish. Dang, two low rooms, what's up? But not many things give as much life as Corruption Coils takes away. Now room. There we go. Dang, this is a good run. All right, that's that. Next up is... I mean, we're in Act 1, so I might as well do Fendario. Exciting, Matasi. Seraphim. Ooh, reduce self enterprises 10%. What's going on, my Vendor girl? Look at that. Two lows, one Vex, and a Mal. 
That's a good run. When did I get that? Oh, I've had that, I guess. I forgot to mention this one earlier. I have Autumn's Avatar. Uh, plus 3 max damage, plus 1 strength, 13 life, 11 mana for a level 12 character. It's pretty cute. Alright. My expectation is to kill Andy in two hits. But... Sometimes it's three. Let's see. One, two. <laughs> I just love doing that. I kill Andy so often just because I can do it in two hits and it's, it just makes me happy, you know? <laughs> Alright, so that was Andy. Let's check out Mephisto. Mephisto has a lot more health. And I still gotta figure out how I'm gonna build out the top dog Novasork. You wanna do anything? Oh, you know what? Let's do. Let's do Trav too. I'm gonna throw Trav in the mix. eventually. On to Mef. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that eight? That was hard to see. So that was, uh, I mean, he's got more health than Andario, but I still just made short work of him. Uh, now on to Bale. Chicka -choo. Oh, we're Terror too. Easy peasy. See, he's still immune, but I can still kill him. I think my buddy killed him more than me. There's some that will still have their immunity. It's like Bishy Bosh. Look at that. Okay, there we go. It's going up now. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's not even going up. It always surprised me that the Venom Lords come out as poison or poison immune, as opposed to fire. I think they probably did it just to make to make it so there's less fire immune since uh, the Act One guys come out fire immune. It's just always weird to me. Ow! Alright, so, how many hits will it take to kill Burl? I think it was about 33. Ooh, a heavenly stone. God, I love that. What are you? Star of Bethlehem? That's cool. One to conviction. One to meditation. One to prayer. Holy cow. Plus one to all skills. Seven increased... Or seven experience gained. You can use charges for holy shield and battle command. That's really cool. I mean, it's not great at level 59, but still, like, I, 
This would be really cool if it was like a level 25 item. <laughs> I don't know. Seems like Nova or seems like Fireball might win out on Deep Loan. We'll have to see how we'll have to see how that goes. You guys leave me alone. Alright, let's see if we get on this one. 13, 17, 9 compared to my 18, 14, 6. Take 17. So that is my Fireball Sorceress. She kills everything. She's a lot of fun to play with. She does 74,000 damage. Resistances aren't maxed. Um, she kills Andariel in about two hits. It was Mephisto, like 15-ish. And then Big Bale was like 25 or 30. She's pretty quick on cows. Um, but now I wanna see what she'd look like if she was throwing Novas. So we'll see. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.